So, I just thought I'd show you guys a couple, a quick video here. Right, this here is just a stack. They're just basic swamps, that's all they are. It's just swamps, that's it. Oh, and uh, there's a doom, there's a uh, doom blade in here because what else are you, what else are you going to use your swamps for? So today, I just thought I'd share with you guys just a quick little tutorial on the different kinds of shuffling that you'll encounter when you go play just a regular game of Magic. Now there are normally you're going to run into three main kinds of shuffling that you're pretty much going to see just about at every single Magic event. Maybe sometimes even like a live stream of a Pro Tour or GP or even a Star City Open series. So I just thought I'd show you guys. Let me uh, pull this down here so you guys can see the nice little playing field. So, like I said, this is just a stack of cards. Most of the time what you're going to see is what's called a mash self shuffle. Basically, all you're doing is just sticking a deck like that. And really, what you're doing is you're taking one half of the deck, literally, just pushing it together. These are a bit of worse sleeves here, they're a bit beat up. And that's really all you're doing. Really, the way that you see me do it is I hold it, hold the deck sideways. Preferably if you're going to hold it at an angle, have it facing away from you, that way you don't see the, your cards. Then all you do is just pick up a half, drop it in. That's it. Just hold it nice and loose. And keep going. This is probably the most common form of shuffle that you'll probably run into. Another common method that you'll find is what's referred to as a rifle shuffle. Where basically you just take two halves here, take your pointer finger, tuck it in, just working like that. That's basically all you're doing is just It's, it's basically the same thing as a, as a mash shuffle, because you're really just taking the cards, putting them right in between each other, just like that. It's just that it's much more, much quicker, a little bit noisier, and there is a drawback to this. When you do that, though, you'll bend the card, just like that. So when you see people doing it like that, they've accepted that there is always going to be a chance that they can bend their card and just leave it bent. As you can see, this one's already bent from me just doing just a few shuffles. That card doesn't quite lay flat anymore, but that's fine. It's a basic swamp. So if you're going to rifle shuffle, you do have to remember that even though there are safe ways to rifle shuffle, and I'm not very well practiced in them myself, just be aware that there's always going to be a chance that you could probably bend your cards. Some of these cards aren't very cheap. So, if you're going to rifle shuffle at all, don't do it if you're splitting your opponent's deck. Not unless they give you permission, of course. So, it's my general advice is just don't do it. You can just do a regular cup like that. Or if you're doing competitive, you do a couple mash shuffles. Two or three, that's that's fine. Another, probably the third common shuffle that you'll find is what's called a pile shuffle. Basically what you do is you just arrange it out into piles like this. And that's basically all you're doing is eventually you just pile the whole deck out. In this case, it's going to be six piles of ten cards, and you just pick it back up. Now, technically speaking, this is not shuffling your deck. This is basically just you taking the card and rearranging them. Even if you try, even if you get a little tricky with yourself and pick up piles in a random order, how's your opponent supposed to know? That you don't know how your deck is, how you, your deck is assembled. For all I know, the Doom Blade in this deck. We were right at the very top. I could have Doom Blade in my opening hand. Nope, nope, not there. I didn't know where exactly where it was, but you get the point. So, normally, 
and sanctioned magic events. That is not considered shuffling your deck and is not sufficient randomization. The only sufficient randomization method is doing a mass shuffle or a rifle shuffle or some other set satisfactory form of shuffling your deck that everybody can agree upon. That's not called 60 card pickup. So, that's generally go going to be it. Like I said, if you're going to rifle shuffle, especially rifle shuffling your opponent's deck, understand magic cards aren't always going to be very cheap, like basic lands. 